Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of the game design of Digimon RPG. In this series, I'll be breaking down the theory of fun as it pertains to one of my favorite MMOs of all time, Digimon RPG. This game back in the day was called Digimon Battle Online. It was one of my first MMOs and was one of the first games that gave me the love and passion that made me want to join the games industry. Now that I've had a couple of years of experience, I really want to share with other people some of the insights behind certain design decisions that are made inside game to help other people like the kid I once was or other people who want to join the games industry have a better understanding of why things are the way they are in certain games and just if you want to have a better understanding of just a theory of fun that can be applied in almost all fields and disciplines in some way for the user experience or your app. So for all intents and purposes, I should first preface that this is not a criticism of the game, but rather an analytical breakdown, which uses Digimon RPG as a case study to understand some mechanics. In this first episode, I'll be covering what is called game retention. To give you a easy definition, game retention is all about how many people return back to your game after a few days. So just like when you're in a restaurant, if you have very good food, then people would return back to come eat there. But if you have poor customer service and bad food or it's super expensive, people will not return. The idea is that if a game is really engaging, then people will come back to play it the next day, a week from now, or 28 days from now. And you can have an idea of what that graph looks like through this graph I'll bring up here. I won't be going to the specifics of it, but at the very least, this gives you an idea that whether it be for New World, Arc Age Unchained, or all the MMOs out there, you expect this steady decline of players after a certain number of days. As you know, some people don't have the time or commitment or aren't enjoying the game enough to stay, stay on it. But for all intents and purposes, if you have a healthy MMO, you will still have a decent number of players by the end of 30 days or three months from now. And as a result, more players who are retained means more people who perhaps will pay, or at the very least, even if they're a free to play player, then you're still making your MMO feel very alive. And that's something very necessary in an online world game. And plus important for the economy. But that's that's a separate story. Okay, let's specifically look into the retention mechanics of Digimon RPG. Some of the ones that I'll be pointing out here are the rolling the dice feature that you can see with your Yuki Bodimon that every single three hours you can come back to this dice board and you can click roll the dice to get some items, like so. And of course, if you go around this board enough times, then you'll get more and more items and even be able to get some rare items if you come back enough to, with this appointment mechanic and keep on using the roll the dice function to go around the board, for example, 70 times. Retention mechanics like this, you can see also can be enjoyable for a player because they're getting those items and even free to play players can feel incentivized to come back and get great items without paying. So in that way, these can be really great when designed well. The next example I'll be using for some retention mechanics in Digimon RPG are events. So you can see here that we have the daily attendance check-in and just like other MMOs, you have some concept of daily rewards. You can see that for today, for example, October 14th, by logging into the event server, I can get these items. On October 31st, I can even get some super rare items, even this red card, which is usually something that is a, a paid, more expensive Digimon. But for all intents and purposes, while this is great, the idea of giving players free items for logging in each day, that sounds really good for the player. But what we also can see is that it can also be fatiguing for a player who 
has a job to, or needs to go on vacation or will not have Wi-Fi for a few days to feel like, oh, I'm missing out and I'm falling behind if I do not log in. This player fatigue can be really harmful in the long term because even if they come back every single day in the beginning, once they break their streak, they can feel like, oh, what's the point of returning to the game? I already broken the streak. With, I'm already behind. For this reason, some of the design decisions that have been made in other MMOs, for example, Elder Scrolls Online, is that instead of logging in every single day of the week to get some of the rewards, then there is a certain number of days, like 25 days of the month to log in. And you can still get all the rewards that are given for that month. And in this way, you give a couple leeway days, say six or seven leeway days, where a person who is busy, cannot go online, doesn't feel that pressure or that FOMO, which can be really fatiguing. This is an alternative game design decision, which I have really enjoyed in other MMOs. And hopefully, Digimon RPG may think about embracing this concept as well. If you've played other MMOs where you think that there are some really healthy retention mechanics, you can leave a comment below. Because definitely, when you are designing for different audiences and different demographics, say the Western versus the Eastern demographic or an older versus younger demographic, this is, this, this is a design decision that has to be, be made. For example, if you're an older demographic like with Digimon RPG, you've relaunched a game that is like a dozen years old, and so most of the players are going to be older, may have a job, may not have as much free time to log in each day. So if you want to reduce some player fatigue, then you might embrace something like what Elder Scrolls Online did and make it so that people don't miss out on items. There are a couple other retention mechanics in Digimon RPG, for example, with events, things that are time limited, so that things like auras do not go, uh, auras go away after a certain number of days, so that players feel like, oh, I have to play before my items expire, my buffs expire, my, my so on and so forth. And in all these fashions, you can see the ways that game designers have optimized for that key performance indicator, that metric which they're being judged on essentially, for how many players are coming back to the game and how much time do they spend in the game. And in this way, I hope this first episode gives you some idea about some of the game design inside this MMO. And if you have any thoughts, opinions, please feel free to leave them down below. Or if you would like a specific other feature or theory of fun to be broken down for this particular game. If you learned something new and you think it's deserved, hit that like button. All right, folks, take care.